Alrighty, welcome to the review exercise for HTML lesson one, my first web page. Now, if you notice, I am not on a Macintosh right at the moment. I have a PC at home. Apologies to you Mac enthusiasts. And so instead of using text edit uh, to write my code, I am using Notepad. Either one works fine. If you follow my instructions, which are very similar to those on a Macintosh, you will end up with a web page. So let's get started, shall we? Now, the first thing we do is we write a lesser than symbol. And then, in this case, our first tag was doc type. Oh, what did I leave out? See, I'm checking to see if you're paying attention. That's right. I left the exclamation point out. All right, let's keep going. HTML. And that tells the web browser that we're writing an HTML document. Our next tag after that is HTML itself, which is saying to the web browser, here comes my web page, you crazy guy. And then within the HTML document, we've got the head. And inside the head, we've got the title. And the title for this will be my first web page review. And then what do we do this time? We have something a little bit different. We put a forward slash and then write title. And that makes this version of the title tag the end tag. That forward slash is very important. If you don't put that in, even though you write the title tag, the web browser is going to think that the rest of your code is actually part of the title of the document. And we don't want that. Oh, no, we don't. Okay. Now, once the head is done, we start the body. So web pages have a lot to do with, or a lot in common with humans. Isn't that wonderful? Now, the body is where the actual rubber hits the road in terms of putting content in the web browser. The stuff that we type in here will actually show up in the web page. And we're going to make some nice big text, and it's going to be H1, which stands for Heading 1. And we're going to type My First Web Page, and then in parentheses, Review. Okay, now we're done with that. So I'm going to end, that means forward slash H1, and that one's done. Now we're going to do our first paragraph, and I'm going to type My First uh, G -R -A -P -H. and then end oh, end the P tag and I am done I'm exhausted I don't know about you so I'm going to end my page I need to end the body doc, uh, tag B -O -D -Y. and I need one more tag to end which one did I leave up in the air over here doc type does not need an end tag which one is it kids Yes, HTML. Very good. So I end the HTML tag. And our page is coded. What do we have to do next? What was that? Very good, kids. We have to save the document. So we're going to go to File and Save As. All right. Now, I'm saving to my desktop just so I can find the file easily. First thing you have to do in Notepad before you start saving the document is you see where it says text documents text. We have to click on that and go back to all files. And then we're going to type my first web page review dot HTML save. Now we're ready to open it. So here we go. My first web page review. Get Fred out of the way here. Talk to you later, Fred. And double click on it. And voila, the page that we have labored produced it will show up in the web browser. Here's our H1 tag, nice big fat text. Here's our first paragraph, nice skinny regular text. And here's the title, my first web page review. Now, just to emphasize the fact that what you put in the title tag is not necessarily what the name of the document is. So I'm going to change the title of my document to My Shoes Hurt. 
and I'm going to save this document again. All I have to do is go to File and Save. And when I go back to the web browser, and I refresh the page, the title now says, My Shoes Hurt. Not me, the shoes do. I have to take them to the doctor. It's a whole other story. So, do you understand? Uh, what I put inside the title tag does not have to be the same name as what I saved the HTML document as, which, as if you recall, was my first web page review. Okay, now, here's the extra credit. Who invented the World Wide Web? That's right, kids. It's Sir Tim Berners-Lee. He was not a sir when he invented the web. He was just a Tim Berners-Lee. And he worked at CERN, which is that big place that has that uh kids what is it called you science kids the super hydro hydro pedro martinez collider i don't remember what it's called you'll be correcting me any minute now so there you go sir tim berners lee uh we have him to thank for the world wide web and obviously most most importantly for amazon.com okay he didn't invent it he just made the web pages available to us Okay, kids. Goodbye. See you later.